hello 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 good day everyone today i'm making a creamy shrimp a creamy big shrimp dip today i'm going to show you how to make it so i like a dip for my crackers so today i will make myself because when you buy in the store it's more expensive and not much so here we go so first you need to put a uh, three tablespoon of oil Two, three. Um, it's possibly I need to make olive oil, but since I don't have it, I just use the canola oil. Just canola oil. So, what you do is, you need to put the shrimp. See, my shrimp is already pre-cooked, so I just put this one. I don't know if you can see I'm <laughs> It's really hard, it's really hard Just, just, just do it this way So you can put your cream And you can cook this for 3 minutes So this one is pre-cooked so it's okay we just need to make sure that this one is more cooked i guess so after that you have to add the garlic so this one is already pre-cooked so it should be okay maybe you just cook you just make it for two minutes so i got this fresh garlic fresh garlic is good for you so you just put six pieces of garlic <clears throat> and then you need to season with some half teaspoon of salt so 
See, this is homemade, guys. So, I don't wanna show you everything fancy. Like the container. See, I just made it. I have lots of container or things in my kitchen. So, I just use this. <laughs> this is for the shots for tequila, whatever. But I use that one. And then, we need to put half teaspoon of black pepper. Right, and you need to put one fourth teaspoon of paper plates. So you just stir everything, make sure that it will be mixed with your shrimp. So you can cook this for three minutes. So So you're gonna put your timer for three minutes. See guys I love seafood. So you need to figure out what other thing should I make for my what other recipe should I make to convert for my seafood. So I have I have this shrimp in the freezer and it's pretty cooked. So I need to make sure that I will I will use it. Three minutes guys be patient with me this is a homemade so all you have to do if you are not busy you just cook something special to your family with your friends if you have a party you can make this too I put the timer for three minutes so to make sure that everything is absorbed for your your uh, shrimp. But guys, look at this, just like this. Stay with me. Don't go anywhere. So after three minutes guys you can add your you can add your wine you have to put white wine uh, it's about you have to put half cup uh, one fourth cup of white wine See, I just put one fourth cup of white wine. So you have to make a timer again for one minute. You see, guys? See, making this is very easy. All you have to do is just make a commitment for cooking. So, we'll wait for one minute. And then we're gonna mix all the ingredients. So it's been one minute now. You 
you are going to add the cream cheese. So you need to put 16 oz of cream cheese. See, I already opened this. And you need to put a half cup of mayonnaise. Half cup of mayonnaise. And then the cream cheese. The cream cheese. Oh no, the parmesan cheese. You need to put the parmesan cheese half cup of parmesan cheese and the lemon zest see and then at the same time you need to look put low the heat of your stove and then you need to put the lemon See this lemon guys is two le two pieces of lemon and this is all the juice. So you make sure that you strain the the juice because there's a there's the seeds. Okay. So all you have to do right now is you need to mix everything everything until it's thoroughly mixed is this gonna be good so you just need to mix everything with this this is so creamy and a lot of cheese a lot of cheese for this so you just mix until Everything is all mixed. Come on, you need to be. You're not gonna be serious watching me right now. <laughs> you still, you're if you're if you're doing cooking, you need to have fun. You need to have fun and make sure it's perfect. So I'm not gonna add more salt and pepper because I already put in it. So everything is creamy right now. Everything is mixed right now. And look at that, look at that. So creamy and it's gonna be delicious. So before that, I'm going to mix the hold on guys.
So you're going to put the parsley. So I supposedly the I'm going to use the fresh, but I don't have the fresh so I'm just using the the dried parsley. Okay. So all you have to do guys just mix everything, mix everything. And the last but not the least, you need to put the You need to put the cheese, another cheese. Possibly I need to make to use the the mozzarella cheese but i don't have it so i just use the monterey jack cheese shredded so i need to put one and a half one and a half for this okay so that's one and a half cheese And you need to mix mix everything again and again and all you have to do guys you need to bake this in the oven for you need to bake to this in the oven for um, 30 to 40 minutes Okay, guys. But I like to add more parsley. More parsley so that it's more green. There's more green. Okay. So now it's ready to bake for 30 to 40 minutes. So, that's all for now. Let me show you after I bake. Babush! Look, look how creamy is that. Babush, enjoy!